All right, so we're ready for another video here with this isometric RPG thing we're doing. If you remember last time, we just had a little thing going and we could zoom in and stuff. Well, we're going to do some like random map generation or something today, a simple version of it anyways. But first, I want a little bit more complicated camera controls here. I'm going to make just like a handle input function for now. It's not very... Not a great way of doing this. You know, if later if the project uh, gets a little more complicated, maybe we'll have a better input handling system. But for now, I'm just going to do it in the game screen class just to get it out of the render loop there. So this is just a small bit of organization. So I want to be able to move my camera. We're going to use the arrow keys, I guess. Camera dot position dot X. I want to say it's, that's not one. I want to say it's minus equals one so that we can move left. Yep. And then you guessed it, we're going to do the same thing to move right, except it's going to be plus equals. Really easy to use the the uh, camera and the GDX and move it around the screen. And later we'll do something similar to move the camera along with the player. Except right now we're still in this uh, sort of messing around with it phase, figuring out what we want to do. So let's copy this. Copy it again, and now we're going to say up and down. On the y-axis now, and we need that's the capital y-axis apparently. All right, this is going to set us up good for our camera movement, and we can decide what position the camera should statically be in later. We can zoom in and stuff like maybe that would be a good static camera position or something. Uh, and I think I'm actually going to set that up too so I can get my camera's position and then and then hard set it later. So I'm going to say, well if I press P, uh, print to the console my camera's position, right? So, uh, camera.position. So that way later we can figure out what position we like and then just set it there and then it'll immediately be at that position. So if we print it now, you can see 140, 360, 10. And then if we move, we get a little zoom and stuff, uh, you know, 82, 229. It's not really giving us our exact zoom but the point is is that we can figure out what position we want it to be like this at least and we'll figure out the same later cool so now we get to do some fun stuff we're going to change up this map a little bit today make it uh randomly generate just a bit nothing crazy or complicated but it's going to be a good start so we're going to make a map like i said last time this was just a quick version being lazy in order to get to see something so map.length. Now we're gonna actually set this up for using a map, which is gonna be a 2D array. That'll make sense in a moment. Of course we can do minus one or we're gonna be out of bounds. Cool, let's make a function down here to generate our map. Private oh no, actually it's gonna be have to return that. It's gonna have to return us. 2D array representing our map. Cool, so private int, uh, let's just call it generate map. That seems descriptive. And then when we start the game, we want the map to equal, you know, we want it to generate us a map that we'll be uh, using down here. Mm, oh yeah, it needs a return statement. We'll do that in just a moment. So this code is not going to change this float x and y. But what is going to change is what we draw. 
So I'm going to say that For now, I'm going to say else do nothing. I'm actually going to have this be, whoops. I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, just else do nothing for now. And this is if map at that row, at that column we're currently at, if equals one, we want to draw grass. Otherwise, just, just draw nothing. We'll just have it be blank for now because I don't have any assets ready at the moment. To, to draw anything else, but it'll have, you know, holes in the ground, that might be one thing we'll draw anyways, right? So, cool, that'll be good enough now, for now to demonstrate the point. So what do we need to do here? We need to, of course, make the uh, map that we're gonna return. And I liked the 15 by 15 size. We can always make it bigger or smaller later, but I kinda like, the, and we could even randomize the size of it in fact, that might actually be kind of fun. We might do it in a second. Uh, and then we're going to say return map. That way the compiler doesn't get mad at us. Random r equals new random. This is how you do some random numbers in Java. Java has a nice built-in utility function for it. Cool, so now we need to loop through and fill up our map with either ones, zeros, whatever we want. Maybe like the zeros can represent holes and ones can represent grass and I don't know, threes can represent whatever you want, twos can represent whatever you want, depending on what assets we get and what we feel like doing. So cool, let's get a little bit crazy in here. Uh, row, well, not that crazy. This is pretty standard uh, loop stuff, but it'll get pretty crazy in a second. Art of look. Pretty cool. Anyways, that's a great thing. You can do a lot with a little, right? People will look at some stuff you do and they'll think, wow, it's complicated. And it's like, oh, actually, it's it's not. It might look like that from the outside, but it really isn't. Cool. So here's where we're going to use the random. What do we want? What next in? We're just going to generate an integer. And we're going to say, you know, I think up to 10. And then we'll give, you know, if, we'll say if the number is, we'll give it like a 20% chance. We'll say if it's, yeah, we'll give it like a 20% chance. We'll say if it ends up being eight, you know, eight, eight or higher than out of these, uh, out of this number here, then we're gonna draw ground, so that means we're going to fill our map with zeros there. I don't know if that'll be too much or not enough. We'll see. The map isn't that big right now. Uh, at that row of column, we're just going to put a zero, which when it loops through up here, we're going to signal that to do nothing, right? And then else, as our default, we're just going to say, uh, go ahead and draw grass. We'll put that as a one. I hope everybody's keeping up here. I, I don't know if I'm like typing too fast or something. This seems like very standard two-dimensional array stuff here, you know, looping through a two-dimensional array. This is like very simple random number generation. I, I don't I don't think that moving fast to this should be uh, really a problem at all. Cool, I think this is basically done. Ah, you know what? Let's just randomize the size of it. Yeah, you know, F it. Let's just uh let's just say int uh R size for random sizes, you know, let's just say it's equal to R dot uh next int. Yeah, let's put it up to two 25. Let's say 25 is the biggest it can go. And then we still want it to be square, or at least I like it to be square. If you didn't want it to be square, you would have to do some other stuff, obviously, while looping through it and, and all of that. Though the basic premise wouldn't change. 
cool. So let's randomize the size of our map and then loop through it, fill it up with either grass or whatever. And then I want to do one more cool thing here. This is probably not the best place to put input, like at all, but let's just do it anyways. So let's go over here, copy this, because there's no point in me typing it again, just being lazy. That's what programmers do best, right? We're lazy. Uh, and let's say if I hit G, let's just say my map chains. Ooh, we want key is, is key just pressed? You know, because we don't want it to, if, if you say is key pressed, it's going to happen more than once because you're not going to be able to lift your finger fast enough or the key in order to, you know, this this is loop is going to run really, really fast. Um, you're never going to be able to get your finger off the key and your key's never going to be able to signal quick enough. Or not. It'll run like four times or something. But with just press, it'll say like he pressed it once if he's holding it that doesn't matter uh he pressed it but if you if you is key pressed it'll uh read that you're still holding it and it's you know every frame it's going through here uh you know 60 frames per second or whatever it's just too fast so is key just press is more appropriate here that's probably a really convoluted explanation for something that's actually quite simple uh but anyways i hope I hope you understood that. So we're just going to say that it generates a new map. I really think we're good to go here. This was a lot of code without testing it. Maybe it'll just crash on me. Uh, cool. No. All right. Yeah, we're looking at like a world here. Okay, I think that's like a good amount of holes. You could you could still sort of get through here. Yeah, when we have a little player move around, maybe maybe the challenge is there's little guys moving in here or something. You have to try and get around them. Let's see, G. Ooh, what happened there? Why is it not like that? Ah, there we go. Now it's working. Okay. So, <laughs> I think that not having a floor on the random size, uh, kind of that's what happened there it, it returned a random size of like zero or something okay that's actually pretty funny so we're gonna say if the random size comes back as less than 10 uh we're gonna just set it equal to 10 because i don't ever want to map smaller than 10 by 10 or something like that okay that's actually that's pretty funny cool let's see here yeah. Oof. It's a fatty. Oof. Oh, yeah. This is kind of a cool, cool thing in and of itself. And you could have this just like randomly happen. Like, what if a player was moving through here and hit a button and bam, uh, it just all changed again, but you ensured the one he was staying on didn't go away. I think this is pretty cool we can uh of course do more with this i need to gather some more assets you know to to get sort of like maybe some little buildings in here or just like trees or something because right now it's looking kind of plain but anyways as always i hope you got something out of this this is some really basic map generation but hey maybe somebody can use it i don't know Anyways, I uh, hope to, this video is kind of short. I hope to have the next one out soon and maybe we'll do some more project organization and maybe some player movement and stuff. And once we're past all this initial testing phase and stuff, I think I might go into just trying to make this look like an actual game. Anyways, see you next time.